When I started this hobby, pH of 7.8 was acceptable and everyone was afraid of Cockwasser. Both of those statements these days for me are not valid. Let's talk about it. The biggest problem us reefers are dealing with these days is that artificially raised carbon dioxide in our homes, which will make our tank water more acidic, which will make our corals grow more brittle, thinner and even bleach them in certain levels. Which means there's two ways we can deal with our problem. We can either combat that high carbon dioxide levels in our house, which we can easily do just by opening our windows or even installing their air exchange unit, or we can combat that low pH that we're having in our tanks, which we're gonna talk more about in this video. There's few things that we can do so we can raise that pH in our tank. We can raise our chlorine, use the two part additives that have soda ash in them instead of sodium bicarbonate, and that way just by you taking care of your alkalinity and calcium, you'll raise that pH as well. Since during the evening our tank water gets more acidic, if you're running a refugium, run those refugium lights in an opposite cycle from your main lighting. One single piece of equipment gonna help you filter your tank and raise that pH is your skimmer. What skimmer is gonna do is you're gonna degas all that excess carbon dioxide and by doing that it's gonna raise pH in your tank. There's few upgrades we can do in our skimmers so you can help us combat that low pH. First thing what you can do you can have a line coming from outside and feeding into your intake in your skimmer and, or you can tape your skimmer from the top and just tape all the holes on top of your skimmer and have just one line coming out of it going back into your intake in your skimmer and that way you can recirculate that air that's coming out of the skimmer back into a skimmer which is rich in oxygen and low carbon dioxide or what we can do with that line that's coming out of our skimmer we can feed it back into co2 scrubbing media if you think about co2 scrubbers you want to have it installed above your skimmer since that water will never start running upwards you always want to have a float valve in your skimmer which is going to make it shut off if it ever starts overflowing because we want to cut every single possibility of that water going all the way to the scrubbing media you can pack that co2 reactor with a solenoid valve or you can hook up that co2 scrubber on a timer and just run it due to the evening when ph is the lowest in our tanks no matter if you're running CO2 scrubber or adding cockwasser into the tank in any way, you should have a pH meter, pH controller, something that tells you when your pH is too high or too low so you can do something about it. The best way of doing this is to have a controller and that way you can set it up so it turns off your cockwasser dosage or close that CO2 scrubbing solenoid just in case your pH doesn't reach that dangerous zone. I have been dosing Kalkwasser for years now to successfully raise that pH in my tank since Kalkwasser is not forgiving if using a poor technique of dosing it like for instance put on your ATM container just use a high quality dosing pump maintain it regularly and you shouldn't have any issues if you're using a clear liquid of Kalkwasser to make up for all your evaporated water I suggest for you to have a backup of the same pump that you're using right now as well I started dosing my Kalkwasser just by dosing the clear liquid from the jug if you're gonna do it this way make sure to put that Kalkwasser in the biggest vessel that you can fit underneath your stand since Kalkwasser is not as potent so you're gonna end up dosing a lot of it. You should always dose your Kalkwasser very slow and dose it in a high flow area in your tank. Since I'm using my Kalkwasser to make up for all of my evaporated water I've been using fan and dehumidifier for all those hot humid summer days and that way I can match my summers and winters and have that equal evaporation rate due to both of those. If you guys like this video, feel free to like it, subscribe, go and check out all my other videos from Current Anchor Pora series, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.